This is G Free Radio. Here's your host, Peter Stewart. Episode 40 of the G Free Radio Show is our Valentine special, particularly for those gluten freeers who are looking for love. Join me as I talk with Marcella and Sherry from the world's first dating club for people like us. Glutenfreesingles.com. They say. Whether you have celiac disease, are gluten intolerant, or choose to be gluten free for health reasons, we welcome you to a website committed to building a national and global community for those who are gluten free. Plus, we've got some dating tips for those who avoid gluten, so maybe you won't be single in 2015. That's episode 40 of the G Free Radio Show. Hello, I'm Peter Stewart. When you've got celiac disease or another gluten-related problem or disorder, socialising can be fairly tricky, can't it? So much of socialising is based around food. When you think of birthday parties and anniversary and the big holidays like Christmas and Thanksgiving and so on, or maybe different parties and events in your particular country and customs, Maybe it's Halloween, trick-and-treat and the sweets, or maybe it's a bonfire night in the US, or maybe it's a barbecue on the beach in Australia, or wherever you are. So much socialising, making friends, meeting new people, is done around food. Now, put dating into the equation... And you've got an even bigger problem. So much focus on going to a restaurant, or going out for the day, going to a cinema, the movies, and having a snack there. And then, of course, hopefully, fingers crossed, the post-date kiss. People with a gluten-related problem have so much more to think about than just finding the right outfit. So this week, we're concentrating on finding love the safe way for people who are G-free. In a few moments' time, we'll be having a conversation with the founders of glutenfreesingles.com, And what they've got to say is really interesting and really fun as well. But first of all, here are a few of our tips for navigating the dating scene while staying gluten-free, courtesy of glutenfreeworks.com and the National Foundation for Celiac Awareness. One. Pick the restaurant yourself. Suggest a few restaurants that you trust will serve safe gluten-free food. Do a bit of research, find out a few different options so your date can have a choice as well. If you're not comfortable picking the place or bringing up your gluten-free diet on the first date, cook at home if that's not too close and personal. You can always pack a picnic basket for lunch or dinner at a local park so you don't have to bring up your diet straight away. Make sure you've got what you can eat and they won't notice the difference. Two. Be prepared to quickly and simply explain your G-free diet. You shouldn't be embarrassed by what you eat and why you've got to eat it. If your date involves food, you can quickly explain that you just don't eat it because you're gluten-free. And if you do eat it, you'll become very sick and you wouldn't want that on a first date, would you? Don't feel pressured to give all the details on that first date. Instead, focus on what you can eat. So, I can't have that sandwich, but look, this fruit, these chocolates look absolutely fantastic. Three... Skip the food. Who says a first date has got to be all about what you put in your mouth? You can go on a walk or head to a museum or go ice skating or bowling or that kind of thing. That way you don't have to worry about finding safe options on the first date. You can just have fun and enjoy the company instead. Also, four. be mindful of that kiss. Use your discretion when it comes time to uh, lean in. And puck her up. Let it go through your mind. Did your date just finish a bowl of pasta? Maybe it's a good idea to hold off until, well, maybe they can find a toothbrush or at least have a few more drinks or have a chance to go to the bathroom first. If you both shared a day of gluten-free meals, then boy, oh boy, your luck could be in and get ready to smooch away the evening. Five. Relax. Your mind can do incredible things, including making yourself sick from worry. Relax, have a good time, plan ahead, and enjoy the moment. (music) 
G Free Radio, episode 40, our special Smoochy Valentine's edition. And let's cross over to the United States and catch up with Sherry and Marcella from glutenfreesingles.com. It started when I began, this is Marcella, when I began dating again, but this time I had celiac disease. And I didn't realize the challenges I was going to face. Uh, there was a host of embarrassing situations that arise when you're dealing with your diet and dating. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking, first of all, there's that whole conversation thing, isn't there? And you can only keep it under wraps for so long, can't you? Because inevitably, any first date is going to involve either drink or food and therefore yeah. maybe beers are out. And even if it's a packet of crisps or potato chips, um, that's going to cause a bit of an issue, isn't it? Because you're going to say, oh, can I just have a look at the ingredients on that? And then the other person's going to say, why? And then you've got a whole conversation. And instead of talking about you as a person, you're talking about a disease and a condition. Correct, correct. You, and then you have to choose the restaurant and and you're hoping that they have a gluten-free menu or, or some options. And I suppose as a lady, you're, you are being taken to a restaurant, uh, potentially, rather than doing the choosing. So that's out of your hands. That makes it even more problematic. Yeah, so I have to sneak around and kind of find out what restaurant they're going to take me. And I have to call ahead of time and find out if they do have options. And then what if I get, um, I get you know, ingested by gluten? I have to have those embarrassing effects in front of my date. It's, it's, it's quite awkward. It's just awkward. And then you wonder in back of your head during the whole date if you were, if you came out too high maintenance. From all the questions <laughs> that you asked the, uh, the poor waiter and um, making sure that everything was perfect. And they're just looking at you and rolling their eyes and saying, what did I get myself into? Uh, absolutely. And, and <laughs> also there's the potential of maybe you being seen as, yeah, high maintenance, but also a little awkward or maybe even potentially losing your temper with a, with some wait staff or a, or a maitre d' or a chef that doesn't understand or makes a silly mistake that you've got to correct them about. Exactly. And I always um, uh, have them enforce um, that they go and tell the, um, the uh, cook that um, the chef that I am celiac. I'm not just here for my for my diet or uh, I'm gluten sensitive, but that I do have celiac and it's very important that I do not get cross contaminated. OK, and of course, if you are cross contaminated, maybe you've got to leave the table halfway through the meal or at the end of the meal. Or maybe you're going on somewhere else, maybe a, a club or, or, or back to someone's place. Uh, uh, and well, what worse place to be unwell, of course. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Basically, my size four dress turns into a size eight. <laughs> <laughs> that's not attractive look is it on a first date where you suddenly balloon in size no it's nice so i'm constantly covering my my stomach with my uh with my um sweater and jacket and my my handbag and walking sideways it's, it's just so awkward and embarrassing and then the other person is thinking hold on someone else that's lied on that on that dating website about their size or their height or whatever yeah absolutely so so that's your your, your story marcella so sherry you gluten-free you celiac uh yeah no, i'm actually gluten intolerant and i found out about two years ago thanks to marcella and um so i i've just been educating myself and researching about um what what is gluten and um, so I've been gluten free for a couple of years now, and I kind of go through the same issues that Marcella goes through. Okay, so 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 you both been dating over recent years? Well, actually, I'm married, and Marcella is. Oh, it doesn't stop you going on the dating scene, does it, <laughs> Sherry? I mean, I don't know. Well, the, well, that's well. Actually, I go on dates with my friends, and um, just to give you an example, is when Marcella and I go out to eat it's just it's so easy and it, it's it's more natural because we both order the same we both understand and it, it's just it's really nice to go out with somebody that is also gluten-free absolutely yeah so, so you thought to yourself hold on uh i i've i found a situation here that i could uh, i could investigate i could um explore a little bit more and make it easier for other people who are in a similar situation correct Makes it a lot easier. Okay, so you put together the website, and how's it going? It's actually going very well. Um, we are the only gluten-free singles dating site out there, and 
And, you know, we just explained the reasons why we, we thought of this and we thought, God, what a great thing to be able to spread awareness and, and help others and, and build this community. And we're getting so much buzz around the world um, from radio shows to magazines to the Wall Street, the Huffington Post. I can go on and on. And we're just getting, I mean, we're the celebrities around the world as far as the media. It's wonderful. <laughs> and I know that, uh, that, well, you had a bit of a stick, a bit, bit of stick uh, in your direction, didn't you? Or, or was it support? How did that go down on the Ellen show, which is the uh, uh, well, coast, coast to coast show with uh, Ellen DeGeneres in the U.S.? I thought, I thought it went very well. Um, yeah, you know, she kind of joked about it and stuff, but it was funny. I mean, just, just to get the awareness out and to get people thinking about it, I thought was the great thing. Well, out of, out of the thousands of niche dating sites, she picked three, and I thought that was great, and we were the first ones up. So it was nice, and it was, it was, it was good, tasteful humor. <laughs> and did you see your numbers boost after that? Oh, sure. They, they really boosted a lot. They um, were getting uh, several hundred a day. Signing up. Yes, it's, it's been amazing, and we're, we're very grateful to Alan. <laughs> yes. All publicity is good publicity, as they say. Now, I guess you need a critical mass, don't you? Because if you're in the United States and uh, you're right across from, uh, from, from coast to, to, uh, to shining coast, as they say, then you need a certain number of single people in a similar situation to you in your particular town or your particular city or area that you can go on a date with. So how can you build up that critical mass or how many are you looking for to make it kind of viable that people will be able to find a date or indeed several dates? Because just because someone's gluten-free or single doesn't mean you're actually going to like them. <laughs> Absolutely. But, you know, by having this um, dating site, you're narrowing and you're able to, to focus more on someone who is gluten-free versus going out to the bar scene, uh, uh, clubs and uh, or other dating sites that are not a niche dating site and that don't um, focus on gluten free so it, it is difficult finding someone out there gluten free so by having this dating site it, it just narrows it faster you, you'll get to it and you can find someone there if there's no one there you know you, you, you tend to do it through um, word of mouth friends and um, it just makes it much easier with a dating site um, versus going out there and hunting um, out in the world for a gluten-free guy. And it's not just a dating site. It's a social networking site, too. I mean, we're trying to build a community to where other to, to where people that are gluten-free can, can talk to friends and meet new friends. And then, obviously, it's a dating site, too. But we're just hoping to, to bring that community together so they can share their their stories or have someone to talk to or just meet new friends. What were people telling you about their lives before gluten-free singles came along and, and how you've managed to change their dating scene and potential successes? Well, we really, we would just, it was really amongst um, Sherry and I uh, on how the dating situation was with uh, myself. And um, uh, we met other friends and, um, you know, co-workers from other uh, companies that had similarities, but, um, you know, they, a lot of people commented that this is a great idea. Uh, we didn't realize that um, diet was an important factor in, in, in dating uh, another person, and um, we gathered all that information, and, um, and that's how um, gluten-free singles came about. And so far, we've been getting a lot of great comments from our members we have now. They've been saying how great it is, and finally there's a dating site that's out like that, and they're just really excited. And have you had any uh, any successes? I mean, obviously people are, uh, are, are pleased to sign up to it and so on, but have you had any people that have told you specific stories about how a date has gone because of your website? Um, well, we've, we've been embraced by the gluten-free community, and, of course, we've had overwhelming sign-ups every minute. Um, but our, our news feed uh, shows activities of the members friending each other, uh, interacting through the forums and the chat rooms. We have not had any members come forth with a story due to, we're, you know, we're still fairly new and still trying to populate our site. It'll take some time, um, like every relationship does. But we know there will be a success story out there in the future. And we can't wait. And we can't wait for that first uh, marriage. <laughs> and do you reckon you'll be invited to that first wedding? I hope so. 
well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And um, so, uh, Marcella, are you still single? Unfortunately. Oh, so we, uh, we, we've been working hard on this website. So as soon as this website is. <laughs> so if you're out there and you're, you're celiac or gluten intolerant, sign up to Gluten Free Singles and message me. Marcella, I'm, I'm, I'm reckoning you could go undercover. You could have the cream of the crop, couldn't you? You, you, could, uh, you, you could skim off the cream. <laughs> That's true. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, now, um, you know, I, I'm not entirely sure how to put this, but um, are you looking at expanding to uh, other parts of the world? You know, because obviously you've got a model there that, uh, that, that could easily go down well uh, here in the UK or Australia or anywhere else in Europe or Canada or across the world. Yes, we are. Actually, we have people signing up from all over the world, Paris, Canada, the UK, everywhere. So, um Yes, we are inviting everybody from all over, and yes, we are planning to expand worldwide. Now, you know what? This is is a huge epidemic. (laughs) Marcella, I'm just trying to work out the um, the logistics of uh, me taking you on a date from London to San Diego. You know, that's that's going to be a heck of a journey, though, isn't it, I'm afraid? (laughs) I'll, I'll email you when I'm in London. <laughs> okay, you do that. You do that. That'd be cool. Uh, okay, so ladies, your dating tips. So February the fourteenth, just around the corner, and we're doing this uh, this interview now because I'm reckoning that uh, if you are single and uh, you're looking for a little, little bit of uh, G-free love over the forthcoming months, and you're thinking to yourself, "Oh no, it's another February the fourteenth that I'm I'm going to be by myself, and uh, no one's going to be buying me flowers, no one's going to be invited." me on a date to a to a fancy schmancy restaurant um maybe you can sign up to a glutenfreesingles.com but ladies your top tips to be romantic with a fellow celiac or gluten freer on february the 14th what do you reckon you want to make sure that um you both are very happy with uh, picking the restaurant make sure it's gluten free of course one of them is, is to briefly tell your date about your lifestyle and another one is what Marcella has learned is, is take the, is yeah, take take the, the lead. lead. Don't be afraid um, to um, maybe you want to pick the romantic uh, restaurant and, um, and, you know, that way you eliminate the fear of becoming uh, sick. And um, that's, uh, and, and, and you're both happy in the same situation and, and, and you're not wandering and you're focusing on each other's um, uh, uh, chemistry. And and also a first date doesn't have to be around going out to eat. I mean, you can go extra, exercise, take a walk on the beach or do something outdoors rather than base it around food for your first date in case that date is not gluten-free. If he is gluten-free, then it makes life much easier, you know, as far as knowing where to eat. Because usually if you put two people together that have been gluten-free for a while, they know where to eat, wh- where the good restaurants are. And Maybe, you know, they want to make a little something at home or go on a picnic and go buy your own gluten-free food. That always makes it easier, too. Yes. Uh, cooking at home, the nice romantic dinner, um, surprising your date is, is, uh, is a perfect Valentine um, uh, date night. I don't know about the first date, but. <laughs> <laughs> and just think of all those, um, all those uh, gluten-free food fairs you can go to together as well. Oh, right. Yeah, you can go online and look up the expos that are happening around your area. That's a great idea. So, ladies, finally, how can people get in touch with you? How can they follow you and find all about you? Well, they can go on to um, glutenfreesingles.com and they can sign up there and um, like us on Facebook. And when when you do sign up to our site, you can um, browse for free and we have an excellent blog that we um, we offer our members that um, has a lot of great information on there, and um, we're just we're just excited to build our community and to spread awareness. Um, also about spreading aware, awareness, um, it's very important that if we can just help one person out there to get their back their life back together again, we've done our job. Um, I suffered for um, over a decade before I was uh, diagnosed, and uh, Sherry for four years. So if anybody, um, you know, has a, a feeling that they might be gluten sensitive, you know, please go to celiac.org and get, you get great resource on how to uh, get tested. And look for us in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, of course, um, I guess you want to wish people 
good luck for this Valentine's Day and for next Valentine's Day, what, in February 2015 as well? And maybe they will find love via your site in time for 12 months' time. Yes, ab- absolutely. We wish them luck and happy Valentine's Day, and we hope you can find a GF partner. <laughs> Sherry and Marcella from GlutenFreeSingles.com and hopefully they will find love (laughs) for 2015 and hopefully you will as well. Okay, that about wraps it up for this week's edition of the G-Free Radio Show, our special Valentine's edition. Episode 41 of the show is just a few days away, of course, and this is what we've got lined up. We've got... From Canada, Shirley Plant, the author of Finally Food I Can Eat. You won't believe what Shirley is allergic to and how she's got round those problems. A fascinating two-part interview starts next week. And also, we're going to be concentrating for a couple of three weeks on foreign food. So, yes, we're going to be going to Italy and talking about pasta and pizza. In a couple of weeks' time, we're going to be talking about some different foreign food. We're going to be going to Asia and explore Asia, the company there. Plus, curries and next week, samosas, gluten-free samosas here in the United Kingdom. And it may spark off an idea for you. And certainly, I'm sure, when you hear our interview, we'll get your taste buds a-tingling. That's all in the next episode of the G-Free Radio Show with me, Peter Stewart. was the G Free Radio Show with Peter Stewart and you. Thanks for listening and remember, until next time, be good, be healthy and be G Free.